Out of all the AAA games that are releasing soon, I'm only excited for one out of all of them, and I'm so happy I am, because this game is a super long awaited of mine, and having played the first one over 100 hours minimum in single player and in co-op, well I couldn't be more happy to see that I have the choice to do that again in Dying Light 2, with massively enhanced co-op mechanics and decisions, and so much more with the new details that we just got. The world of gaming has seen so many delays and so many false expectations for games recently, that it has left us in a state of numbness or simply boredness because of the wait that never ends. Don't get me wrong, there's Elden Ring that's coming too in February, but I've unfortunately never been a fan of the Souls genre. And I'm not saying the genre is bad, of course it's not, I 100% understand the appeal, but I've just never been into it. So there wasn't anything else to look forward for me in the AAA games. There's a ton of indie games out there, but I understand that, yes, yeah, sometimes maybe you want to play something ambitious and massive, like Dying Light 2 for example. I met the developers in person at e 3 19, and they were really good guys, extremely motivated by what they were making, and not controlled by any publisher that tells them what to do. It's extremely rare these days to find a studio, a team that is willing to make what they want from the beginning and not change their vision because of people's feelings or opinions. Stalker 2, which was first dated to release in April, just got delayed by 8 months in December, so again I felt really disappointed that nothing was releasing soon. But we finally get to experience something and it's not something small. But a game that's at least 5 years in the making, and also a game that is stated to take 500 hours to complete, if you do absolutely everything there is to do in it. Some people, like myself, were a bit worried of this statement because 500 hours is extremely huge for any game, and makes me think that maybe they just made a bunch of repetitive side missions and a bunch of grinding for the sake of it, and are now proud of seeing the game takes 500 hours. But the developers clarified that 500 hours is only for a very specific gameplay style of seeing and doing absolutely everything the game has to offer to achieve a 100% completion rate, like little easter eggs, little missions, finding this item, discovering this secret place and such. The developers continue on to say, for 500 hours you will have to find every collectible, listen to every dialogue, fetch every easter egg, finish every possible ending, and visit every corner of the world. The story is something completely different though and has been made with true care, it won't be filled with random and stuff to pass the many hours of playtime. They continue on to say, we are fortunate to have a very passionate community of fans who have been returning to the original Dying Light throughout the last 7 years, and we know they can't wait to truly lose themselves in our latest work. A focused playthrough of the game's main story can be finished in about 20 hours. Everyone plays games differently, so for some it might take longer than 20 hours, and others it might take less time depending on what you do. Though to also complete the side quest, learn learn about the lore and speak with all of the game's characters, this would take around 80 hours. Again however, this figure will fluctuate depending on playstyle. I'm also super excited for the co-op, which will enable up to 4 players to work through the game together from beginning to end, sharing undead slaughtering duties and story progression too. Friends can vote on key story decisions whenever narrative choices are presented as part of co-op playthrough, although the host will always get the final say on how things plays out, and players will be able to to take any items earned and character progress made back to their own games once a session ends. It's pretty much just like the first game which is perfect. I'm happy I finally get to experience this soon and let me know if you guys are excited too. If you want to see some gameplay on the channel, make sure you support and subscribe.